My name is Tanya Cateria Hernandez, and I am the Archibald R. Murray Professor of Law at Fordham University School of Law. And for the past 26 years, maybe even more, I've been teaching critical race theory, and it's been my great joy to do so. Critical race theory comes out of law schools in the 1970s and in the 1980s, all as a response to the disillusionment with what law did with the civil rights movement. The achievements of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act, the Fair Housing Act, all of these were meant to put us further along the road to building equal societies. But what legal scholars discovered is that the achievements were only an intervention into formal equality. That is to say, we took down the white only signs, we took away the formal segregation, and yet embedded within our systems and structures were still thoughts of racial hierarchy and a view of people as having more and less importance regard, with, with, with respect to their skin color. So critical race theory goes much deeper. It looks at the ways in which even when there's no white only sign that there are still barriers to inclusion. Let me give you an example. Critical race theory would look at, for instance, the 1921 Tulsa massacre in Oklahoma in which an entire community, often called the Black Wall Street, uh, was decimated, targeted, decimated, and many, many people killed, and property destroyed, and wealth completely stolen. Whites doing this to blacks. That's a fact of history. Critical race theory, though, looks at the ways in which law was implicated and facilitated that horrible tragedy. So critical race theory would look at the ways in which the legal system had sheriffs deputize citizens in order and arm them as well in order to run amok and kill so many. It would look at the ways in which the legal system then incarcerated the victims and survivors of the massacre. It would look at the ways in which the legal system then refused to indict and hold culpable any of those white aggressors. So in short, what critical race theory does is it looks beyond facile notions that things that happen are just isolated instances of bad people badly intentioned, acting badly, and instead it goes much more deeply to look at how systems and structures themselves are acting out the disruption to our society of really achieving equality.